All right, here we go, the tuning of the system. Uh, I've been working on this now for a couple of months, and it's a ton of fun. And uh, coming up with new ideas and ways to make things work. Uh, right now, I want to give you the dimensions of my system. Uh, that way, you can take these numbers and sort of calculate it to you, to whatever you're doing. You know, either reducing it or, or expanding it to give you a basic idea of of, of what's what will work for you. Um, gravel volume and the uh, water volume and this is actually how much water ends up into your plant box which is a lot less than you would, have, would you would think um, also here is the in my aquaponic system I'm using a bell siphon to control the uh, the water in the system and this is the bell part of the siphon this is uh, how you determine how much water exits the uh, the, the plant bed and this is the siphon tube and this is how you control how much water enters and, and, and actually fills up your plant bed. You, you want the water in the system to fill just below the top of the gravel. So you want it to be about an inch to two inches below the surface of the gravel. That's the ideal uh, height for the uh, water to fill. Also in this, uh, the, the way I control the water to each plant bed is by using these two uh, valves one to the uh, the small plant bed, one to the big plant bed. Okay, I put together a slideshow to uh, show you how to make changes in the uh, the way your system uh, performs. And I'm using a constant flow pump and using a bell siphon to control the water flow. Two ways to control flow of water through your system. Control flow of water to the plant bed using valves. This is the first way just use valves to uh, to control how much water is actually uh, flooding your beds. Okay, the pros and the cons. The pros, the more flow, the beds fill faster. Uh, another pro is more nutrient-rich water flows into the plant bed, if you're, do, if you're going faster with the flow. The beds turn over the water faster to the fish tank, keeps the tank uh, water cleaner. Uh, the cons, though, or also it could be more flow to the beds which um, can cause a problem with the siphon breaking so uh, you may need a larger stand piper or the siphon will not break when the bed is emptying uh, too little flow and the siphon will not start so there's sort of a fine line that you have to uh, to work with the other way to control flow in your system is by the size of the stand pipe uh, the pros to a large stand pipe allow the plant bed to empty quicker the cons to a large stand pipe needs more water to get the siphon to start, so you need a, a faster flow or more, or more water. Uh, the small stand pipe, the pro to that is it's easier to start a siphon, but the problem with the small stand pipe is it's harder to get the siphon to stop. So you can see that uh, you really need to, to, to balance the flow to your system using the valves with the size of the stand pipe to make the system properly operate. Here's a list of variables that will affect the bell siphon also. Uh, smaller gravel, water moves slower to the bell making it harder to start the siphon. Uh, larger gravel, moves, water moves faster through the gravel making it harder for the siphon to stop. Um, supply of water pipe size, you can't increase the flow rate on a pump that is already maxed out. A little bigger pump than needed is, is, is better. Um, so you, you need to buy a little bit bigger pump than what you think you're going to need. I ended up uh, increasing my pump uh, 300 liters an hour. Bell siphon rock guard. Make sure you have the biggest holes possible without allowing gravel through. Uh, you really need to make sure that uh, you can allow all the water uh, to flow through this unimpeded and uh, in time it, it may clog up a little bit so that's why it's a good idea to just go ahead and uh, and make as many uh, holes uh, that you possibly can in that. This is just a quick note. I've been able to make my bell siphons work without flaring the top of the stand pipes. So uh, I haven't had any problems just using straight pipe. Uh, make sure the top of the bell is airtight. You definitely don't want any air leaking in. I just used a two inch cap uh, that fits snugly on top of the, uh, the bell. Uh, where you want the siphon to break on the bell, make sure you use large holes all the way around. Sometimes it's tricky to get the, uh, the bell to stop, to stop the siphon, so you need to make sure you put big holes all the way around it. 
The standpipe should be as close to perfectly vertical as possible to help start the siphon. Just make sure that when you cut the pipe it's not in an angle. Uh, that'll help uh, the, the, the siphon start. In these slides I'm going to show you how to uh, control the water turnover time in your system. Uh, most of the information that I've read says that you should turn over the total volume of your fish tank in about one hour. Uh, to slow things down, okay, if you're turning it over too fast, um, the way you can slow this down is slow down the fill rate to your plant beds. You'll probably have to use a smaller di uh, uh, diameter stand pipe. I used one inch pipe that uh, exits my plant beds and that allows me to use the one inch pipe for the stand pipe which is a large diameter uh, stand pipe or I can reduce it down to this half inch just using a uh, reducer and that's how I can change the uh, the sizes of my stand pipes to, uh, to control the flow. Another way to slow down the turnover rate is to allow all the water to exit the planter bed by putting holes at the very bottom of the bell siphon. I have my holes a little bit high here but if you wanted it to exit all the water you would just have holes at the very bottom of the, uh, of the bell. If you have a large pump and you need to slow things down, you can divert part of the water to another plant bed. Uh, that's what I did in my system. I have uh, one pump for two plant beds. Or use some of the pressure to spray water at the surface of the fish tank. Uh, this will help add uh, oxygen to the water. Okay, to speed things up, increase fill rate to your planter bed. You'll probably need a larger standpipe to allow the siphon to stop once started. This is also why it's important to start with a larger uh, pump for your system so that you can increase the, uh, the rate of flow. Use a large exit pipe to help the water exit the planter bed faster. This is tricky. If the pipe after the stand pipe is a straight shot and very large, you won't be able to start a siphon without a lot of water pressure. Use an elbow or two after the stand pipe. This creates just enough back pressure to help the siphon start. Don't allow all the water to exit the planter bed by raising the holes in the bell to stop the siphon sooner. Make sure you put holes at the desired height all the way around. Uh, this is what I've done in my system. I hope this information is helpful. Um, I've learned a lot and I know there's a lot more to learn, uh, but this is a lot of fun and uh, harvesting your own vegetables uh, for your family is uh, really rewarding. Uh, so stay tuned. I'm going to have more videos on the fish part of this and also on the different plants that I've planted and uh, how I did it and and just more information uh, relating to to that so thanks for watching bye